Descendants of the tribe of Manasseh have come a long way since their forefathers found out their inheritance of the land almost 2,700 years ago. In the last years, they are making their way back to the Jewish people and to Israel. Svi Chauta, who guides and leads the tribe members so devotedly, has already paved their way for the last seven years. This is the third time that he was sent by the Shavei Israel organization to India in order to return the lost tribe of Israel to the Jewish people. First of all, we're in this generation by luck. This is a dream come true. It's a dream of our forefathers, not just us. It's something great. It's the complete redemption. Thank God we have come here. The forefathers of Hauta were exiled by King Assyria in the year 722 BCE and wandered for many years until they settled in the outer Himalayas in the area where today the states of Manipur and Mizoram are located in northeast India. The country is characterized by a mixture of religions and languages, but the tribe of Manasseh succeeded in keeping their Judaism and to pass their traditions from father to son in a remarkable way until this day. B'nai Manasseh are part and parcel of the Jewish people. They are descendants of one of the lost tribes of Israel. They've been wandering in the diaspora now for 27 centuries, but they never forgot who they are. They never forgot where they came from, and they never forgot where they want to go. And that is back home to Zion. Among the Bnei Menashe, unlike other groups, there are traditions and customs that were transferred throughout the generations and thousands of years with songs, stories and customs which have connected them to the Jewish people and the tribe of Menashe. Secondly, there are many customs, sacrifices and commandments of keeping kosher, laws of family purity, Shabbat, festivals that teach us of the customs of the Bnei Menashe and their connection to the people of Israel from then until now. And so during the last 50 years, the tribe members started on their amazing journey back to the bosom of the Jewish people. The Shavei Israel organization took the mission upon themselves to return the descendants of the Bnei Menashe to the bosom of the Jewish people. And so, at the end of an intensive research two years ago, the chief rabbi of Israel, Shlomo Amar, acknowledged the Bnei Menashe's Jewish roots and ruled that a rabbinical Bet Din should be summoned to convert them. The rabbi imposed this mission on the shoulders of the Shavei Israel organization. We currently operate two educational centers for the Bnei Menashe with a staff that was sent from Israel where hundreds of members of the community study Judaism, basic Hebrew, Jewish history, they learn about our collective heritage. We have a moral responsibility, a historic responsibility, and even a religious responsibility to reach out to them, to embrace them, and to welcome them back home. The widespread activities proved successful for a healthy and vibrant Jewish community life. And today, there are about 7,000 people who live this full way of Jewish life in the Manifor and Mizoram communities. Slowly, slowly, parts of the Bnei Menashe started coming to live in Israel. They settled mainly in the area of Jerusalem as well as in the Galilee. We have been dreaming to come here for a long time. And so, so, we have made it. The Shavei Israel have continued to help all the immigrants throughout their way in Israel too. For example, the organization in Kiryat Arba founded the Bet Miriam Community Center, especially for children. It was mainly founded to give activities to the scores of children in the afternoon hours and holidays. Ulpan for adults, art lessons, internet use, computers, and the place is supposed to be a warm home where they can develop and become stronger in themselves. 
The Shavay Israel organization makes sure that the older people are prepared professionally and helps them to fit into society and make an honorable living. Take, for example, a group of B'nai Menashe girls who were integrated into a professional and prestigious cosmetics course. The girls graduated the course with honors and felt great satisfaction. Actually, to start a new life here, it's, uh, it's given me a hope for my future. Do you feel Israeli? Now I do. But the joy is not complete for the majority of the community left behind in India. And the immigrants are waiting patiently to be reunited with their family members left in Manipur and Mizoram. My parents and all my family are still in India. I really want them to come here. The Shave Israel organization continues quietly and with great energy to make arrangements for the next campaign of the absorption of about 220 B'nai Menashe. 20 B'nai Menashe. In their long journey to Israel, they pass through the streets of Bombay and New Delhi. They become proud of their Jewish identity. They already know even how to sing in Hebrew. They adapt to Israel? How will they get used to the new culture which is so different from their village lives in India? Hopes and fears are etched on the faces of these new immigrants throughout the flight. In the airport, the faces of the B'nai Menashe are recognized by family and friends who arrived to Israel previously. Some haven't seen each other for years. <laughs> from Ben Gurion, the B'nai Menashe set off to Pardes Khana where they will spend the next few months. Shavay Israel organization converted the youth Midrashia to a private absorption center for the B'nai Menashe. The immigrants reside in the dormitory buildings and learn Hebrew and Judaism intensively. Young children, youths and adults, the B'nai Menashe has a thirst for learning and to deepen their Torah knowledge substantially. It is not just a matter of us strengthening them. It is they who strengthen us. The B'nai Menashe are sincere and committed Zionists. They live an observant Jewish lifestyle. They serve in the army. They raise beautiful Jewish families. They are a blessing for the state of Israel and the Jewish people. 2,700 years after their forefathers discovered their inheritance of the land, the B'nai Menashe are coming for the first time to Jerusalem and visiting the Western Wall. They collapse on the stones of the Kotel and pray with devotion. <laughs> the blessings of the incoming of the exiles in the Amida prayer resonate significantly with the prayers of the descendants of the tribe of Menashe next to the remains of the Holy Temple in Jerusalem. We will not tire, we will not stop until all the remaining members of this wonderful community are able to come home to Israel. This is where they belong. This is their home. And we intend to facilitate the fulfillment of their dream and to bring them back to the land of their ancestors, the land of Israel.